Hello, and thanks for coming by and watching my video today. Today is March the 18th, 2014, and I'm giving you an update on what's been going on with my braces. Um, I have had my braces approximately six weeks, and tomorrow on March the 19th, 2014, I go and I have my first adjustment. Today I'm going to just, just describe to you what basically happened when I went to go and have my teeth clean. Um, the hygienist, she looked around my mouth to make sure that everything was okay, make sure I didn't have any cavities, make sure I didn't have any buildup or anything, and that was perfect. She said I had no buildup. So the brushing the teeth the four times a day, uh, using the water pick after each and every meal. Um, if you don't have access to a water pick, you may want to try to either invest in one. I know it's kind of hard using a water pick when you're out in public, but you can just kind of rinse your mouth. Uh, it, basically, if you can't, just you know, just use. Um, I invested in these uh, these little things here, and these are perfect. This these are called placards, and I showed you this in the other video, and they work absolutely great as far as um, going around your brackets they help out a whole lot especially if you're, if you're like in a rush and you need to get in between those brackets you're going to need that the next thing that she recommended was um some floss with a I guess like a thicker um, thicker uh, tip on the end because it kind of helps with to being able to uh, direct the Floss, the floss up under your braces she said that that's a lot thicker and it is so the ones that I bought are um, the sample that they gave me in my little dental bag is a whole lot thinner but this is thicker so she said that this helps out a lot because the string isn't really long and it's threaded just about the way that you want it also um, I'm using I and I forgot to put a picture up in my last video of my um, fluoride that I'm using. I also told them I didn't have to get any fluoride today because um, she told me um, uh, that since I'm already using it uh, that I don't have to use it. The one extra thing that she told me was when I brush my teeth with the fluoride she said not to um, rinse my mouth out so because uh, she, she said that you want it to kind of like settle in so this is what the fluoride is that I'm using and it's by Colgate. And it helps with, you know, as far as dry mouth, it helps prevent cavities. Um, and if, especially if I'm eating like candy or something, or maybe even crackers or something, I always brush with this because this helps with um, preventing um, those. Back of, of my things. mouth, I have. Uh, I still have my back, one and my I just refuse teeth to get that out because I just don't want to get any more wisdom teeth removed. Wisdom teeth. Um, they're kind of hard to keep clean back there, but since I only have one, and the dentist said there was that I didn't have to have it removed, um, I bought this kit to kind of help with cleaning. And if I can get this open, uh, to help me clean below the gum line, even uh, and this is this thing here. That point right there, it helps to go below your gum line to kind of help if you have. Um, if your mouth produces like a lot of um, uh, plaque and stuff, and you just it just and you it, it helps, and this also helps to you know stimulate the gum and everything else. This little kit I got from Walmart, and there are two other pieces that came in there with it. But I use this. She told me to use this like every day, so I can make sure that that area back there stays clean because it's kind of hard to clean back there. And I'm not getting that tooth removed. Um, the other thing that I find that's really been helpful with getting the back teeth clean, like I said, this angle thing you can point it from the, and it kind of helps between the get between the gums on the other side if you can't reach all the way in the back. This flosser right here, this reach flosser, it helps out tremendously, and it helps with being able to floss back there in the back for places where you can't reach, and it's kind of awkward. Um, she gave me another one of these, and I absolutely love this. Um, the dentist, when he came in, he was also pleased with my progress as well. 
Um, they said that my gums and my teeth were uh, were great. Um, I go for on March the 19th, which is tomorrow. I go and have my regular um, ortho appointment tomorrow. This will be my first adjustment, so I will be posting a video up up on that experience as well. I have not decided if I'm going to um, take ibuprofen or not because I'm not a medicine taker, but it just depends on what the extent of my pain is tomorrow because I want to describe to you all what this is going to be like, so I really haven't decided yet. If you have any questions or if you're doing a braces journey as well, could you please leave a comment down below um, to let me know so that I can follow it also because I love to hear about people experiences as well. If there's something that I have not mentioned or if there is a question that you'd like to, you know, ask, if you feel ashamed, you know, to uh, post it, you can message me. You can also follow me on um, Instagram or Twitter at I am Shari. I am Shari. Well, I am Shari is my blog, but my Twitter is uh, Shari, and I'll leave all that information in the description box. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions or any concerns, anything just, you know, that's pertaining to, you know, my dental health or you just want to know, just like I said, feel free to message me. So like I said, thanks to all the new people that have subscribed and thank you if you're watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos on me with my braces journey, please thumbs up this video and please make sure that you subscribe and share. So you all be blessed and thanks for watching.